Hello, hello. Last time we did some jobs for the Brotherhood. It attempts to find a way to spare them, I guess. Today we're going to do much of the same. Uh, last time we got sidetracked, though. Not going to happen again. Maybe, probably. <laughs> Let's get into the game. Now, I made a promise not to get distracted, and we're not going to, uh, I'm going to go one more door here. Ready to run. To whom it may concern. You got some pretty good stuff from the last raid. Nothing like last time, I don't want any incident. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. You can read this. You have my permission to use any items you can find. Stuff I hid. One missile launcher. Three missiles. Three blocks of bricks of C4. Five frag grenades. One super stim pack. And various ammo. Your benevolent supreme overlord, Apatha. Ooh, I got a key here. Yeah. Ain't gonna turn that down. Give me it all. Give me it all. Yeah, yeah. The cars, the money, and the clothes. missile launcher. Too bad I won't be carrying it with me. I use it to carry this old one up. Nope. Damn it, I said I wasn't going to get sidetracked. Get out of here. Just one more building. Just one, just one more, Eddie. Oh, you don't mind. Now, what do we got here? Ah, gold. Open access terminal. As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. Here's my first log entry. Fix up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings here. I wonder what she's planning to use them for. Oh, Apparently, the mutants raided a caravan today. One of their rifles jammed. Took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled a switch here and taken this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterwards. But it might have been worth it just to look on her face. Hey. The mutant with the scar across his face who might have taken the call and cuddles. Stopped him today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that's outside of my expertise and seriously thought that he was going to kill me. Tried to escape today. Have they had one of her men be senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed a toaster. Cuddles came in about his car again. 
even brought a container of gas and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him the gas was not the problem, but he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got too ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. Insisted that I change the lock on my door and require a password. Using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is one two three four five six seven eight nine. Like anyone who cares will ever read this. Oh, it's Cuddle's car. Don't you send me that? I go now? Okay by me. Enjoy your freedom, fella. God bless America. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. I feel like you're insinuating something. Trying to say you want to tag along with me. Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. All right, Bow. Well, it's your funeral. I am not caring about this one, Eddie. I know what you're about to say. Uh, we'll get you some armor or something. Damn it! What's your name, anyway? Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. What do you hear about that? Oh, right, radio. Right, right. Okay. So, tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? I like this. I like this boss language. Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? Many. My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Raul Tejada. Okay. At least we're on name speaking terms. My name's Glenn. Hey, if your name's Raul Tejada, what does your jumpsuit say, Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. I see. I see. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to know. Talk more later. Anything you say, boss. You know what? I like him. It'd be hard for us to find a, a ghoul I like, so count yourself in good graces. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Oh, yeah, I will here. Take this mini gun. Uh, hey, don't worry about it, boss. The decrepit old man could easily carry all your stuff for you. Really? Yeah, I'm sure you can. That's why I'm gonna unload a lot of it. <laughs> On you. Hey. There you go. I got a weapon suited for you. Damn, it's getting dark. It's got one more building check. I'm not getting sidetracked, Eddie. I'm getting I'm getting uh getting forward track. Listen, we wouldn't be able to do nothing if it weren't for my looting.
So these are the good ones. Melting, having only two, means that it, we are not working with an ING word at all. How easy was that? We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. Tension's pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about searching a place. One of those vaults for himself. Securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. When he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Oh my god. It's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they have. And it looks like we didn't roll back neither. Peter says we have two minutes to the first missile drops. Wow. I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible. And the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Just like we found a home. At least for now. First things first, though. Gotta get those corpses out of here, poor bastards. Huh. Well, I definitely got rid of the corpses. No corpses what I can see. Is there. Keeping quiet. Unless my creaky knees give us away. Oh, yeah. This is the main room. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, dirt. Raul, Rhonda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Huh. Strange, dulcet tones. All right, let's get out of here. Let's ski daddle. Journey to Nellis is safe, but the dry wasteland takes a toll on old Glenn. He has to consume extra water during the trip. Yeah. Ain't got much water left. Fuckers better not shoot me.
Uh, here we are. What's that? Could have been me down there. Wasn't though. Any such cases. Alright, now where are we off to? Back to Hidden Valley. Well, look who it is. If it ain't the ding ding tin man gang. Look, Todd, it's your brothers. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. Oh yeah, I'm useful. Just about everywhere I go says so. You can ask anybody. Uh, I, I do got a question though. What would an Elder do? What would he have to do? Get kicked out. So you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Thank you kindly. I'll see you later. Bye. Gotta talk to a scribe. Our instruments show some impressive power fluctuations coming from across the river. Hey there. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Need any help? I could use some assistance, sure, but I highly doubt you have the technical background to help us deal with this virus. A virus? That old bell. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Anything I can do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Could just delete all the files. That would get rid of the virus, right? Along with all of the crucial data contained within, That'd be like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Now, fella, I, I do not... I do not endorse throwing no babies. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. So what do you... what do you, I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. 
but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll give it a try then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Okay. What do I do? Just, uh... Press a button? Something. I had a computer guy, so... Those will let me know. The virus just jumped. Find oh, which terminals... Okay. Uh... Access... Uh, data... I don't seem right. I'm guessing it's not that one. All right. Access data. Ha ha, suckers. Catch me if you can. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm thinking that's a one. Access data. Oh, that, that ain't a one. Access data. Oh. Seconds. Oh. 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds to get two. That ain't one. There's two. That ain't it. Come on. That ain't it neither. Damn, it's jumped. Damn. I thought we might have had it that time. Bam. Damn, damn. How may I assist you? Hold on, I think I got a magazine about this stuff. Yeah, I do. I got some mint hats, too. Oh, yeah, that'll put me about smarter pants level. Ooh, empty. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Not right now. I wanted to ask you some questions now that I'm more prepared. I suppose I could take a small break, but I can only spare a little time. Ask away. About the virus. Yes. Did you have an idea that might help us? Can the virus's files be partitioned? You know, you isolate them, so read access only provided by the kernel administrator. The, the kernel... Let me, let me read this. Got a magazine here. The Colonel Administrator uh, needs solitary access. Is that possible? What? No, that that's brilliant. It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. All right, let's give that a try then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Okay. The virus just jumped. Find which terminal it went to. Getting isolated. Damn it. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give this signal, start checking terminals. All right. I'm going to start on this one here.
The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Oh, I see it don't move. I see. That means all the ones that already access. We need to look at again. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Let's go one more go. I think right. I got it this time. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give the signal, start checking terminals. You got it. You want to help or something? Little mustache. The virus just jumped. Find Which terminals it went to? You don't have On that one either. Nope. One of these is the one I already got. That's it. We got it. The we virus got has it. Been purged. Yeah. You actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Now that the data store is fixed, what do you think of Arden trying to get McNamara dismissed? I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take-charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. Interminable stasis. What a what a phrase. Oh. oh, how do I get access to more topics in the data store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. I see. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Got it, got it. What kind of information does he even own this data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. I see. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Elder dismissal incident. Incident number one. Let it be recorded that on this day, Raymond Lorne was dismissed from his post as either as elder for committing the crime of murder. Brother Lorne was known to have hostile feelings towards the victim, senior scribe Ritter. The guilty party insists that Ritter's death was a tragic case of friendly fire. The bunker was under attack at the time. But the tribunal felt they could not let him persist as elder with such suspicion hanging over him. It's scribe Usyk. Hmm. Be it known from the, for, that from this day, Kenneth Jones shall no longer bear the title of elder. Brother Jones has willfully gone against the chain that binds and has been forced to step down. Ed Palatin Lindquist succeeds in his elder. Ed Scribe Morgan. Incident number three. Let the record show that I have stood witness to the dismissal of David James from the post of elder. Brother James was charged with destroying an unknown device recovered from a recent expedition. The 
purpose and function of the device remain unknown, and Brother James has thus far proven unwilling to discuss the matter with anyone. Inscribe talent. Chain that bind. Where's Mackie? Bill. Have to have to tell hard ass then. Hey, Harden. What is it, outsider? Have you discovered anything? I found the patrols for the Elder. They all had mission discs, orders from McNamara on them. Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid by ousting McNamara. You know anything about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself head paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? One of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to that. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Never mind that. Talk about something else. What did you have in mind? Tell me about your last elder. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically only paladins are eligible, but an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind, and many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action, but he refused to budge. Said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. Hmm. Why do you dislike McNamara so much? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? I see. And I can only imagine what you think of the lockdown. It's a travesty is what it is. Every second we sit on our hands down here is another second that we're not fulfilling our sworn duty. Oh, did I talk to you about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself head paladin if I didn't. Uh -huh. Well, again, uh, you know, we were talking about chain and how one of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders. I see. Well, never mind then. What did you have in mind? Time for me to go. Later. Hold on now. What's this line? One, two. Ah, there you are. Ain't much of your room, is it? Hey, found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? Yep, I got it. Here are the holotapes. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. Tell but me about we must it. turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. 
When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Okay. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? The elders tasked me with contacting several scouts out in the wastes. That's a sensible notion. Your familiarity with the nearby terrain makes you perfect as a liaison. I've been trying to get the Elder to send out scouts for years, and he's always been resistant to the idea. Said they'd be a vulnerability. I wonder what changed his mind. No idea. Well, I'm gonna get going, then. Bye. they got here More like a weapon storage thing hello outsider hello hey there uh not or is the word came down from the elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares as if I didn't have other matters on my mind uh matters on your mind anything I can help with if you must know my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short somehow we're missing a laser pistol Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon I can't delay my report to him any longer I can look around for it if you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Hey, I also... Have you found uh, it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Lady, I, I literally have not left yet. I haven't found it yet, no. Then we have nothing further to talk about. Well, well I, I, need, I need, need to buy something. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. All right. Maybe I'll keep it. Got any good stuff? Some good stuff. Whoa. Is it? Another satisfied customer. Yep. I'll see you later. Bye. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more to the NCR. Hmm. Let's go find these scouts then. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? One of the data store entries mentioned the chain that binds. What is that exactly? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Appreciate that very much. Bye. We'll get the patrols done and come back and read what we can about that. Hey. Problem? Oh. Ah.
Well, first off, let's head on to the trip. Ain't too far away. Here's stuff yonder. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable. Oh, you're gonna like this. You are gonna like it. say that. Jinx myself. Speaking of, these shotgun rounds go quick. Too quick. Alright, I'm gonna lock it a little bit. Little bit. Missiles. Shells. Regular old bullets. Thinking I'm gonna need a sniper rifle soon. Take my pick. I did have some in here, didn't I? Oh, right. Big, in the big empty. Well, I ain't tricking on the wheel out there for that. Get to see a damn doctor for this rads. Rads, that is. Let's, let's get this first scout. <laughs> now watch this, I'm gonna sneak up on him. God, shut the, the big old steps. you want and don't try anything funny I'm elder McNamara's representative you said to ask if the bears are still hunting you speak truly for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the elders name and that passphrase very well I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now 
after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Portends? I like that, I like that word. Can you stop pointing that at my Jimmy's, please? Huh. Never much considered this place. I do wonder. Yeah. We're off to find the other scouts then. Alright, I need to kid out that Raul fella. Get you some armor or something. What do we got here? Fair and equitable, boss. Steal? I, I didn't steal that. I ain't, I ain't steal. I ain't steal that. Well, at least that little helmet covers your fucking ugly little face. No offense. Well, I, I mean, obviously some offense. Okay, so you don't want to wear the NCR attire. This, then. Are you ready? I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Yeah, yeah, be all about this. I'll wear that and one of them. Well, that's just perfect. <laughs> you look like a fucking dork. That, that is amazing. Sure, you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Go okay, we'll put that on so you're breathing right. Perfect, perfect. I can't even tell it's you, and that's the sort of the plan. All right, looking good. Okay, no playing dress up. Let's get out there. Novak is one and Nipton. Guys, it's one ghoul. Holy hell. Bring the damn hammer down on him. Good golly gosh. Well, if it ain't the exact lady I was looking to see. What can I do for you? Can you heal my radiation? Are you sure? 
You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Oh, I ain't got no problem. I can't read and begin with. Here's your hunter caps. Go ahead and do it. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. Well, sure, I would if I could find any. Suppose a can of beans would count. Would it? Hey. You need at least a few cans. And even then, how the hell is that going to take the rads off? I don't get it. Wait a minute. We're not supposed to be here about some kind of windmill thing or something. Oh, we got tangos. doors foul fucking creatures you know once I lived in a crater and I found out where Cazadors were born you know okay y'all just gonna look at me like I'm crazy I, I was there I mean it I got teleported off with a satellite And they called me the curry. And, and they said that I was special. And that, uh, on all sorts of things like that. Y'all should show me more respect. Because I'm known places. People like me. It's true. It's true. Oh, wait a minute. I want to come here. Heading north. Swish. I ain't here no more. I took them schematics and I'm making my way north. Figure I might get some cash to burn if I sell them to those strip types. All this whining and fighting about that some damn well. I got a big solution to me. Them little windmills don't make enough power for Vegas, right? So they gotta rely on the dam. What if they had a big windmill? I'm talking the size of that big glowing casino tower that nobody's allowed inside. So that's the plan. I'm heading north up the 9 to 5. But so maybe if you get the lead out of your pants, you might just run into me before I'm filthy goddamn rich. <laughs> Read. Damn. Well, that's a goose chase. I ain't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have no hand in it. I don't really give a shit. So. See, when you kill a, a poisonous creature like this, Raul, as I'm sure you know, you really gotta extract the venom sack, the, the juicy venom sack from within. Couple men got it. Shoot them a couple, couple more times, just to make sure. Always double tap. Out in the waste. 
<laughs> yeah, that's fucking broken. Oh, you're fine. You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. Guess my eyes. You know you're gonna die. Man. Fuck that stranger in the ass. Tell him, Ty. Tell him, and you show him. Get him, boy. Damn, Casadors. Gotta get the juicy glands. You see that? Gotta get them juicy glands in your pockets. For what? I don't know yet. Probably some reason. One again. Baba boy, Baba boy. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Elder McNamara sent me. He asks if the bears are still hunting. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win. But that has not happened. Instead, the two sides maintained a long stalemate, and only after an extended duration did the NCR finally destroy its opponent. When they did, it appeared they did so with the help of fresh reinforcements. I do not believe they could have managed the feat without them. That savages such as these could last so long against the NCR is troubling. Please, take my findings to the Elder. He'll know what to make of this. I see, I see. All right, well, on to number three then. You know, it's nice to walk sometimes. I rather like a nice, brisk run through the Mojave Desert. Far and few away can say something like that. I mean it. Oh, shit. Compared to the crater I was in. This is just natural beauty. Natural beauty, I said. What happens when stranger in the air? I guess we're doing this. Natural beauty, I say. Yes, sir. Natural beauty in its purest form. Hey, hey you got anything? Hey there. Need anything? Yes, I do. Sure. Here's what I got. Take one of them for sure. Oh, I'll take those. Take some shotgun shells as well. Since and you got them. Appreciate you. All right, we got one more scout to look for. Oh no. That ain't what I was thinking. What 
we got here. In the hell? You better get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all got a problem like that? I do want that Xander root there behind you. Listen, I'm sorry, you fellas, but you're gonna have to put up or shut up. Make your choice. some vintage power armor they got here. about that we won't talk about it. we ain't got to talk about that no no it was an accident and they shot first you saw it don't take another step if you value your life for what purpose do you approach me what the fuck is that beard buddy uh, wait, I forgot what I was saying. The elder sent me as his representative. He asks if the bears are still hunting. Strange that the elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. I've collected such musings. Y'all are full of that flowery vernacular. I tell you. All other conflicts resolved, let's head on back. Chew purified water. That ain't gonna do. That ain't gonna do for long. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need to head over to the truck. You don't need some extra water. They got much in the way of. Bottles around here. Definitely mass purify some water though. Don't have to work for now.
Yeah, five purified. That's what I have to do. One more snippet. For the road. While traveling, the wind turns, and Glenn's Geiger counter begins ticking frantically. Ran into a pocket of reds on the way over. This is nothing really compared to what I've gone through. I wonder if you build a resistance to radiation like you do, like poisons and stuff. What do you think, Eddie? I ain't gonna take radiation on purpose to test it, but I'm just saying. I do wonder. Okay, okay. The back the NCR is moving more and more into. Oh yeah, I was gonna check the better stores. The chain that binds. Chain that binds is the cornerstone of our organization, the rock that supports the great tree of the Brotherhood and its myriad branches. It holds that one, orders are to flow from on high down through the ranks. An order from a superior must always be obeyed that their wisdom may be carried out without hesitation. Two, orders are to observe the flow and not skip ranks. Orders are to observe the flow and not skip ranks. The superior may only give orders to his direct subordinates and not to those beneath them. This way, harmony of intent, cohesion of thought, and taint. I'll be with you in a second. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? I wanted to ask you some other questions. If you must. No, you asked me this before, but do you know anything about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. Okay. Do you know that there's a second part to it? Second part? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, it says a superior is not allowed to give orders to the men under his subordinate. Then that means I can cast McNamara down for giving those secret orders to my paladins. Well done. That's exactly what I was looking for. So, uh... What happens now? There are a number of people I'll need to talk to. The process won't be instantaneous, but with this evidence, my path is clear. It shouldn't take more than a few days, and then we can begin moving forward again. Oh. Like that, huh? Just like that, he ain't elder no more. <laughs> well, I almost kind of feel a little bad about it. Hey. Oh, you become elder, and now, now you don't want to talk to me no more, huh? That how it works. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter, and moving forward, we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. 
Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? I would like to join Brotherhood. Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Oh, I see. Typically, we take in the young so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. Oh, well, the condition thank you. is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I, see. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? If you want me to arm wrestle with Deathclaw, I can tell you, I'll do it. What is my task? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family. Make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Okay. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to go then. Later. I don't think you don't understand you, Eddie. But you're right. Even when I ain't trying to be a hitman, I end up being a damn hitman. The world has its way of putting you in your place. And as Glenn sits and thinks about that, that's where we'll end this episode. Next time, our final quest to join the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood. And perhaps we'll even find a way to save them for the, from the powerful Mr. House. But that we'll find out next time. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a good time. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can find the next episode. Peace out.